there's a special little spot at, uh, at Crabtree Falls. I've entered into a portal. I'm having a simulation adventure. And at some point, it'll all be over. I'm back. I'm so hypnotized by its falling water. It feels like you're crying, but from the outside inward. <laughs> and then back out again as it all flies away into who cares land because we're friggin' alive, and that's amazing. I think my favorite word that I've been using lately on my adventures here is enchanted. I just love words like magic and enchanted. I've always been attracted to that kind of stuff. I want to believe in magic. You can see back in there. It's weird, these trees, they all have this, they have these like viney roots going through, so it kind of makes this weird like optical illusion. When you look back in there, surrounded by roots and leaves. Let's go ahead and take a look in here and if I can see if I can show you what I was talking about earlier. See how you can kind of just, it just kind of like weaves in and out all through there. I don't know if I even introduced you yet, Ralph. Ralph, make your, uh, make your debut at Crabtree Falls. Sometimes I forget to introduce him because, you know, the little guy's always with me, so. I can tell it's actually cold today too because my fingertips are uh, are actually pretty f pretty frozen for a change. I haven't felt that you know kind of weird tingly feeling in a, in a long time. I actually grew up in Canada, so I grew up having the the ends of my nose and my fingertips and the ends of my ears and stuff pretty much you know constantly frozen. I'm sure you know being out in places like this. Tranquil little environments. Looking down a mountain river. I'm sure being in uh, places like this does something different for everybody. But for me, what it does is it is it it amps up my creativity. It makes me dream more. It makes me it makes me more positive about the the planet that we're living on. It makes me excited to be alive. It makes me just want to want to see more and experience more and it makes me appreciate being alive being conscious here on this planet I'm just gonna head down this little uh, divot here I've always wanted to do my own music for my little adventure videos here and I've never known how to uh, I've never known how to play an instrument I've always uh, I've always had this story that I told myself that oh I'm not good at music I'm more I think more technically. I I can't feel rhythm. I can't feel flow. So I've never, I've never been one to you know play an instrument or dance or or any of that sort of stuff. But just completely randomly, I was watching a live stream. This guy pulls out this this instrument. You know, I didn't even know what it was called at the time, but it was the hand pan. Kind of you know bounced around on it a little bit. I just the sound instantly like it it grabbed me. The sound lulled me into it. Imagine walking through a jungle surrounded by vines and all of a sudden the vines start just wrapping around your legs and around your neck and arms and they're just pulling you in, inwards. That's, that's what I felt. That's what I felt when I heard the sounds that, that this handpan instrument made. Again, I'm sure I've said it, but we're at Crabtree Falls in the Smoky Mountains in North Carolina. Let's go down here and get another view of this river. It's just so pretty. I'm trying to think of my words that I'm going to call this place. I know it's going to have mosey in it. It's got to be mosey something is going to be my description of this place. Anyways, look at this. What a beautiful shot. Right there. Right in there. That's where we were just sitting. And I was telling you about my hand pan Mosley Tranquil. Do we like Mosley? I'm talking about like Mosey and on. Mo yeah, Mosley Tranquil. That's what I call the Crab Tree Falls. This was a hot day. I'd be dipping in all of these. Uh, I'd be dipping in all of these little falls and such. But it's not. It's a Mosley Tranquil day. Are you hanging in rough? Like how he looks back when I when I talk to him sometimes, Ruffy, 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 
Mosley Tranquil, what you think? You feel pretty Mosley Tranquil? I mean, it feels like being at a, it's like being at a spa, being out here right now. I'm sure all of you know what I'm talking about. All right, well, that's where we'll continue, but let's take a little pit stop. This is a little powerful. It's not uh, it's not the you know it's not your standard definition of mostly tranquil, but this is kind of the part of the massage where they're like really you know digging in. It's like creates like a little cover, but then you can just see so far down into there. Yeah. This is a really, this is a neat little spot. This is a special little spot at, uh, at Crab Tree Falls. I just get that like, I've entered into a portal, I'm having a simulation adventure, and at some point it'll all be over, and I'll be sitting on my couch, eating dinner. Vibe. <laughs> Excitement is building. What could it be around this corner? What is it? Crap. I think this is like a whole cliff. Hold on. I get my bearings here. We just venture out. Number one rule. Come on, Ralph. I'll hold you tight. All right. Extra floppy legs. I've had jiggly legs the whole trip already, so this isn't helping. I might be at the top of the falls, you know? Okay. Yep, it's a cliff. It's a cliff. Okay. You see all the way down there? I don't know if you could see it in the camera earlier, but you can see the waterfall. I can see kind of like a glimpse of what we're coming up to. But this is, uh, this is the little o overlook that I'm feeling too tranquil to want to mess around too much with too tranquil and low energy i think i actually have to go back one more time i feel like i'm kind of missing i feel like i'm kind of missing it i'm gonna sit down on this rock and we're gonna look out to this waterfall it's not too bad you get to sit so it feels good mighty close to the edge though i felt like i was rushing through there a pretty little section. Come on, Ralph. Go on. Climbing some rocks. Whoa. And yeah, we're just kind of like hanging under this uh, stone giant here. Look at this little spot. Doesn't that look so inviting? I think it looks so inviting, I might just invite myself. A little moss carpet in here waiting on us. Yeah. Alrighty. A little house plants. I could just kind of set up shop here. A little water in the background. Alright, well. I'll see you guys when I uh, wake up from my life under a rock trip. Am I back? Am I back? Ralphie? You still there? Ralphie's still there. 
pretty sure I'm still at Crabtree Falls. Onward we go. Towards what we know is going to be at least a sizable fall now. And cool little, uh, let's say one good, good goodbye to our uh, rocky cave there. Look, someone put a little, you are beautiful sign. Well, remember that. The trail is building up to a, uh, to the moment where you meet the Crabtree Falls. It's getting louder. The trail's easy, but it's like heavily sloped downwards, so you kind of start running towards it. Kind of puts you in this, you know, mental space where you're like, I'm coming. It really is a, it really is a build up coming down this, uh, this kind of gentle hill towards with the falls in the distance. You're starting to get, you know, an idea of the power. I think this might be like where you experience it. I think this might be it. I'm sure you get more spots, but obviously we have to go through. All right, you're seeing what I'm seeing here. There's another person down there. Oh, there's a trail down here actually. Sometimes I can't even believe I'm actually here. I can't believe I'm actually like seeing this. And then when I am seeing it, I'm like, why don't we all see so much? I don't know how close we're gonna be able to get on the trail. But yeah, we can go right down to the bottom here. We can even go down these rocks. Look at that. I've never seen anything quite like that. All the moss hanging off the sides. See that? I love how the rock is like, you can see all of the angles. It just looks so like chiseled. It's, oh man, I can't, this has got to be my thumbnail, right? I'm trying to get one from even down lower, but I mean, this is, this is the, what is, it, what is this? I'm not, it's, I'm so hypnotized by its falling waters that I forget the name, Crabtree Falls. What a massive god sitting out here in the middle of the Smoky Mountain, just waiting for me to you know, be here today, right? All right, we got to get down further. Let's go. You still see it? Crabtree Falls. I'm just going to keep inching closer and closer. And also with the chiseled wall, it still fits the Mosley Tranquil. I'm gonna, it still does. It's like a, it's like one of those walls of water in a, that are in spas and things like that at the end. Show me your rock skills, Ralph. There you go. Good job, boy. Show me the way. Holy moly. I didn't realize we're so close all of a sudden. I'm getting misted by its waters. I mean, if this tranquil experience, you know, didn't wash all your problems away before with the, you know, rivers, and standing here in the midst of this, oh my God, I don't even know what to call it anymore, this God. I mean, this has got to surely wash all of your problems away, right? Alright, now to be honest with you, I'm gonna just turn the camera off and sit here and enjoy this. Enjoy this place for a minute. Let me give you one more 360 just to show you what it's like. I wanna make it right to that rock. Get, you know, up close and personal, give you one last view and then I guess we'll be on our on our way. There she is, the god. Crabtree Falls, I'm right on the edge. Look 
Good luck. Pretty freaking cool. You see, I think there might be some stuff on the lens. Like when you just let the mist kind of wash over you. It feels like you're crying, but from the outside inward. <laughs> and then back out again as it all flies away into who cares land because we're friggin' alive and that's amazing. Crab tree falls. All right. I think I've said my piece. That was a pretty amazing experience. Even, it was so amazing, I didn't even notice this like beautiful mossy wall on my way in. Wow. I know I've been talking about being hypnotized so much this video, but that's what I've been experiencing in my life lately. And this, yet again, this is just another example of just being like pulled in towards it. It's almost like I can just like, all these things around me, it's almost like I can just hear their calls all of a sudden. It's a really weird experience that I've gone through in life. I don't know if I should even be talking about it. It makes me sound like a nut job. All right, we're gonna move onward. Oh boy. Yeah. Mm, that's the hard way, boy. Go this way. This right here is probably the best shot. It doesn't really compare to being like up close, like right next to it, but just like the being able to see the artwork all around it, the little details in the rock. The moss, all the little flowing little streams coming off it from back here. That's another thing that I love about these falls is there's always just so much interesting, interesting things to pull you into. It's it's truly is like a living, uh, a living picture. That waterfall, like put, like it was like injecting steroids into me or something. I'm like amped up. Look at that view. This experience has been actually a little bit different than one I've ever had. We're more kind of like, more kind of moseyed you in to its tranquil experience and then blasted you with power and then had to kind of skid you along this runway of rocks on the way out. This is nature all around us, right? We're surrounded by just natural beauty. That waterfall that we just experienced a natural god but this right here things like this where these rocks have been you know specifically laid out in sort of like stairs you know just because of people that have come by here and you know walked over them and naturally moved them into place probably a little bit of intentional placing rocks so that people can get through and getting things out of the way and stuff like that so us humans have come in and put just such a gentle natural touch on nature and that i just find that relationship so exciting and intoxicating and that's the end of the uh that's the end of this adventure i'm gonna make my way right through there right through that little round round patch of trees there i'm gonna walk back through the portal and we'll uh I'll see you on the next adventure, wherever it is. I'll see you there.